Today we're going to be replacing the idle air control valve on this Dodge Neon with a 2 liter. Now we've got our new valve, it came with a gasket and it also came with two screws which will hold it into the throttle body here. If it came with the new components, let's use those new components. So first thing we need to do is disconnect the electrical connector. Now because of the high mileage on this vehicle, plastic's a little brittle, I'm going to use this, this plastic pick to help me release the electrical connector and its lock. You can see that thing's stuck on there pretty well. So we get it disconnected. That's out of the way. Now I'm going to take my ratchet with my swivel socket and we just have two screws holding this in place into the throttle body. So let's go ahead and remove both of these old screws. We don't want to drop it but we can discard the old ones because it came with the new ones. Now this one's relatively easy to access. We don't even have to remove the air cleaner or the throttle body on this particular one. So once the new screws are out we can remove it here and we're going to use our new uh, gasket components here and we'll go ahead and install our new IAC. Now using our new screws I'm going to reverse the removal process and reinstall our new IAC fill. Now we want to be careful because remember these are getting threaded into the plastic throttle body here so we don't want to overly tighten these but we're going to just get them down good and snug. We want to make sure there's no vacuum leaks also. So we'll tighten these, get them good and tight, but let's not go too tight because then we run the risk of snapping or stripping out the plastic inside the throttle body. So once that's done, we're going to make our electrical connection, get it, make sure it's locked into place, locked down good, reinsert the lock, we want to make sure this doesn't come loose. Then we need to relearn the memory. Well before we relearn the memory, let's clear the old memory. This can be done via a scan tool or if you have to disconnect the negative battery terminal for a couple seconds. Then when everything's been cleared, we're going to do an idle relearn. You can do this by starting the vehicle and letting it idle without your foot on the throttle. Let it idle for two minutes. Then we're going to put it in gear with our foot on the brake and let it relearn that for two minutes. Then turn the air conditioning on for two minutes in order to let it allow to compensate for the new engine load. Once that's done, the vehicle should be ready to drive. You've just understood how to replace the IAC valve on a Dodge Neon with a 2 liter engine.